generic greetings and welcome back to Snowtopia where in the previous episode we started our first ski resort and got in a lot of the support buildings so things like research, builders lodge, mechanics workshop etc and then got some people on the slopes by putting in the fixed grip chairlift here and three slopes although one of them is not really used at all so we'll have to see about altering that but in this episode we want to crack on with things and go ahead and build another uh, another winch system and all the slopes so let's have a quick look at the lifts now and we have another lift we have a four person fixed grip chairlift so it has a lot more people uh, in terms of its capacity so it goes from 24 to 36 which is pretty good it also has about the same length it has the same length but the gradients better as well so you can go higher on that one or have a higher gradient it says a timeless classic there however the appeal is not very much so we'll have to be aware of that okay let's go for the chairlift and we're going to see if we can bring it up to this mountain here uh, it says the ski lift is too short um can we oh, can we bring it right up to there we can let's go ahead and do that that is oh that is quite a dangerous <laughs> quite a dangerous thing to set up all right well that's what we're going to go with so let's see about building a large slope down here and oh good grief that would just be <laughs> that is extreme that is really extreme. Um, do I really want to do that? <laughs> I think, honestly, yeah, I really do. <laughs> so there's a really extreme course on that one. This is going to be, that, that'll probably be the um, very difficult rating. We'll go for a large one on this side as well. And will that be the exact same thing? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's just, it's just so difficult to navigate these ones oh wow I mean is there any point in having two of the same same grade same rating I don't think so can we be a bit cheeky and start here and work our way down the mountain like that I think we possibly can and that's probably what we'll do but we're going to use a normal size one and this is going to be blue rated blue between blue and green is what I'm aiming for although obviously some of these are I mean, that's really extreme going down that mountain. Can we not, like, make it a little bit less deadly, perhaps? Is that hard to ask? <laughs> so we can't... I mean, you can go that way. The problem is that having in these really difficult corners, that's where all the accidents happen. And it's just not going to work out if we do something like that. I'm wondering if this... Yeah, look at that. That is perceived difficulty as extra hard, that one. Hmm. Up the top here, then, I'm going to go for high altitude kiosk, and I'll put it there. And then, finally, we'll put a ski patrol lodge in... Probably right next to that one, actually. And there we go. We'll assign two people to this four-person fixed grip chairlift. And that will probably see a lot of skiers start rushing over to this if they really want that extra, extra difficulty. So we'll see if any of that actually happens. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can build, like, a, even just a red circuit would be sufficient. So we'll go with normal sizing. And if we can go with just predominantly a red rated, um, a red rated course, that would be good. So that's red there, yeah. Red, red. Just trying to alter the curve, so it's... I mean, there's a tiny bit of extra hard there. That's better. See, that's a fairly light corner. Then you have to figure out what the... You have to worry about, like, the next one. Um, red to there. Red to there. But I don't want anything... Rated as extra hard. There's our ski satisfaction. Wow, you've really drawn in the crowds. If you keep on like this, you'll start attracting new skier profiles. And when you attract a new profile, you'll attract potential extra volunteers. Good. This will curve down here. And this is now talking about resort reputation. 
Sometimes it's good to take time out. I should know, I'm constantly stressed out. So take a seat and check out your skiers. Have you noticed how they all look the same? Hmm, that's not good for your resort's reputation. You should attract new skier profiles to increase it. Cool. I'll check out that in a moment. I'm just trying to build this... Build this course here. Um, I mean, it could just go straight down. I think the problem is because... have like the way this is set up you're gonna get oh that's good yeah there you go and then sort of like a leisurely pace to the end that's okay there we go and that should be a red course has this one received any people at all I don't think it has I think it would be best to close that mm. do I close or just delete it I'm just gonna delete it and now that we've got all this working, let's assign people to the high altitude food kiosk as well as the ski patrol lodge. And yes, people are now starting to get on these and go up. In fact, oh, good grief! Ah, that'll be an extra. That'll be an extra skier profile, will it? will it? Yes, I think they're all wanting to go on this thing on slope number six, which is perceived difficulty as. Difficult. Let's have a quick look at this. So it says open the resort window. Um, let's have a quick look at that. And there are our different types of skiers. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six skier profiles available. We'll check that. We've now got the stro Snowstruck Lovers, Sport Club Kids, New Fallen Slow. We've always had them uh, previously. We now have Bold Adventurers, which are wanting the advanced uh, course. Oh, their, their, their skiing ability is advanced, so it's a very hard course. We have the snow plows, which I don't go... I don't get to ski often, but when I do, I go for it. Watch out! Coming through! Okay, and you can see they also have more needs now. They have a frequency of use. Need? I don't really know what that actually means. And then we've got nervous newbies, which have a security rating and heat and energy and such. So, And they're on the mastered the basics level and you see satisfaction is not too bad the snow plows not so much we need somewhere to uh, maybe i don't know increase their challenge somehow hmm either way we are researching if we check the research out i've got things like the long distance walkie talkies researching which is going to increase the autonomy the repair training is completed and i've got the soup bar which is queued up, and then I'll go for also dedicated storage to have all service buildings increase their appeal. We also have the ability now to unlock. So this is specializations. So we have two specializations available. We have the expanded ski area. Description, take your ski skis further and higher. Upgrades, ski lift, increase the length and maximum gradient. Maintenance, increase team autonomy. And unlock buildings, the six and 10 seater gondola lifts. The optimized ski area is get the very best out of your structures. Ski lift is increase the speed, which I like. Maintenance, increase volunteer efficiency, which is also good. And buildings, 12 and 16 seater gondola lifts. I tried the expanded ski area before and didn't have great success with it. So I'm going to try the optimized ski area. And that gives us the red building unlock. These uh, purple ones, we can't, we can't uh, research there, I believe locked out for us okay so there we go there's first aid training which is ski patrol lodges work speed but we'll just let it crack on and get the other stuff done uh, to resume that and close and how are we doing over here there is a lot of people just sort of hanging around here which is a bit of a problem we also have in terms of problems problem Q. this is a problem now i could destroy it and then, well, you would think you could destroy it and then build uh, from a one of the better ones, but you can't. As soon as you do that, it's going to delete a lot of these build areas, and then these won't be connected. And I tried it before, and it was basically a restart. It was just load your previous save. It's You've just completely messed it up. So I would highly advise against doing that until there's some change or there's a, a, a way. It, may, it might have been a... It might have been an isolated incident, I don't know, but I'm not going to try it again. And also, I thought maybe you could sort of click on this building and upgrade that or whatever, or upgrade it from here, but, uh, well, you cannot. It matters not, though. So, let's have a quick look, and we can see that, oh, yeah, people are loving this one. This is our slope number six. Lots of attendance on this one, 30-odd percent attendance, but there's loads of them going down. They must love that one. 
which is good. Alright, we have to welcome 500 skiers and gain 3 reputation stars, which is fine. The problem at the moment is space. We actually are quite limited uh, for where we can build. Obviously there's an option to build over this side, which is fine. We can then build probably... Probably from here, with a with a maybe a lift going up to here and then skiing down the mountain. That's also possible. Um, what I'm very tempted to do as well is go for a normal. No, I can't use normal. It's gonna have to be a narrow course here, and have it come down the mountain like this, and have it sort of curve round, and just do my best to try and. Can I get around that bit? I can, I think. Can you get it through that? No, maybe up to there. No, we can't. Okay, so it's just going to have to be nice sort of gentle corners. <laughs> Do a 90 degree bend. I don't think so. Um... That's quite a sharp corner there. That's just gonna that's just gonna make everybody face plant, isn't it? Because that's oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's vertical, All right? Okay, fair enough. Um, I wonder if I can just go like up that way and then gently round here and then curve round there and then it's a bit that's that's oh that's exactly what I was wanting. Curve round the mountain and then ah, oh, but that's that's it's gonna be a bit too steep there. Curve round. Can we go up and over? Will it allow me to do that? No, it's just too much. It'd be nice to... I was going to say tunnel through, but I don't think that's a thing. Well, I know it's not a thing in the game, but I don't know if they would actually do that in real life. Whether they would have that. But this is... This is nice. I'm liking this. Some some sharp bends, I must confess. But hopefully it'll be all right. And this should be at this stage fairly fairly passive. The problem is here. I'm pretty sure that gradient there is like very easy. So do I want to connect it up to there? I think I do, because I think it's only this top bit here that's really extreme. The rest was all right. But if I check the... Not safety. Um, slope difficulty. Ah, it's not going to tell me. It's not going to give me the, the, the readout. But that, hopefully, will be all right. Let's have a quick look. Looks all right. It hasn't removed too many trees, because there wasn't many to remove, to be fair. But uh, there you are. So let's just see how we get on with that one. Lots of people attending that. Yep, and also lots of problem queues as well. Ooh, yeah. This is why I'm wanting to build things like the soup bar and the small shelters. Because they'll give you people uh, things like, I think it's warmth and that those needs. So we'll place these around probably where, the, where they come out of the... Where they finish the... The little ski down. So at the end of the slopes, we'll place it there. Yeah. This is almost built. And we can see that is predominantly green rated. So we'll see if anyone actually goes to that. I'm going to gonna max speed this out while we wait for that to work, if, if it actually does. Um, I'm very happy with that. This one, I'm very surprised at its attendance. So people really like that one. The green one, there's not anyone on, but to be fair, you wouldn't expect many people to... Well, no one coming up here would go on that one yet, because that's the perceived difficulty of very difficult, and that one's difficult, whereas this one is easy. So, yeah, just don't get the signs mixed up. Please don't get the signs mixed up. <laughs> but, obviously, the people queuing up for this will have only been queuing for normal... And actually, no, that's those sizes. They'll only be queuing up for the difficult and really difficult ones. And there's someone face down there, sadly. Uh, but now that it's got this, now that we've got some throughput, we've had some time, you can see, we now have some people on this slope. Maybe it would be better to keep this one as the easier slope and then that one as the harder one. But I like, 
I thought maybe moving over there may help our um, issues with these people. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, we have new volunteers and such, but I don't think there's any buildings that are in need of people to volunteer on it. I don't think there is. No, we've got ma people maxed out there. So I think what we'll do, uh, research is almost completed for a soup bar. There is a soup bar there. It has, if we check it out, it says appeal is plus 10 and food is plus 30 and heat is plus 30. So I'm going to place this soup bar. Um, where shall I place the soup bar? I want to place... Oh, can you place it in the middle? You can place it in the middle. Well, why would I not do that then? Might as well do that. It means that people can go around it and it's not it's not um, messing these corners up. And we can use that for other things. Okay, I'm happy with that. Research is underway on a small shelter. You've then got a tea room. Mmm, beverages. By the way, today's beverages. <sighs> Strawberry milk. Shake. Um, don't know why I split those words up, but it is a strawberry milkshake. Um, where are we at? For this tea room, do I want to do that? Then it goes to a small fast food stand, followed by a thermal curtain. Hmm, increases heat. First aid is ski patrol lodges work speed. Light vehicles is snow groomer autonomy. But we also have work schedule. Be prepared. That's the Boy Scout motto. Start planning makes for a shorter work day and more time to enjoy the snow. 100 meter autonomy reduction, but max volunteers. We don't need volunteers. Oh, max volunteers, so you can have more volunteers on it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, gear reducer. Fast motor is good, but the control and the cable speed is better. Chairlift, ski toes, and gondola lifts, which is 100 meters per hour speed. Yeah, but also extra wear and tear, so we need to maintain it more. Well, we'll go for that. And. That's ski lift speed, uh, max length, we don't need that. Uh, that's a friction sensors, ski lift wear and tear, yes, we'll go for that. And ski toes, which we don't have. First aid training, I don't think we need yet. Uh, solar panels, all service buildings, plus 15 appeal, yes, we want that, certainly. Let's assign two people to the soup bar. There we go. And we are currently researching the small shelter. And let's see just how many people swarm towards this thing. And already attendance, we have some attendance. This is good. I could put it at the top of the slopes, but I don't know if that is the right move. Do I really want to put it at the top of the slopes? Well, realistically, I wouldn't be able to fit it up here anywhere, that soup bar, would I? I mean, I could put it here, but you have to get on that. You have to get on there to start using it, so that's not going to happen. So it's definitely not going to go up there. We're definitely not having a soup bar there. Up here, we also can... Oh, we can place one. I think I can place it there. A soup bar. I'll place it to see what it looks like. I might end up getting rid of it. We now have over 300 skiers as well, which is good. Let me assign two people to that and I'll see if it's... See if anyone's actually going towards that. Just keep an eye on the attendance here. Oh yeah, people are using it straight away. Right, well that'll, that'll hopefully help things so we'll keep running that then the building the other building is actually done as well which is a small shelter it's heat and energy whereas the soup bar is food and heat so we'll go for a small shelter and again I'm gonna place it sort of in the middle here oh hang on let's see if I can place it about there maybe there we go there's a small shelter I could potentially do something up here. Same thing. But it would have to be right at the back. Uh, would it work like that? I'll place it. You know. We'll give it a go. There's no no huge drama in trying it. And the fun's in finding out. Oh, immediately indicators. Look at that. Attendance right up. <laughs> so people really like that then. Is that attendance still up? Oh yeah. People really want that building. Right. That's good. Sign someone to the small shelter up here and we'll see if that's been used as well. They should have access to it because the bollards all connect and such. But I don't expect as many people to use that. It wouldn't make sense really, would it? Because obviously they're coming up here to then use that. They just want to use the slopes really. But I'm not seeing them on... I'm not seeing them really use it, to be honest. 
it might take some time to filter through. People are certainly using the soup bar. Oh no, there we go. People are starting to use the shelter. Right. Okay, it's getting used. That's all I really care about at this stage. That's good. Right. Let's go ahead and see. Are there any... Are there any better ways of going up? There's a two-person fixed grip surface tour. But we're not really about surface tours. We're about the gondola. 16-person gondola. Let's go for that. Because there's no money in the game, essentially, this doesn't cost us anything. Which is quite... I, I quite like. It's... Uh, it means that, you know, we're just focused on the uh, satisfaction. And that's why it says volunteers, not workers. Uh, and it doesn't cost us to build any of this stuff. It's just you place it. Because of that, I have no desire to and really no need to rush through the research. You don't need to go right straight through the research. Get this done. Get this done. You can take your time and get all of the bonuses and do it that way. Uh, one of the things we should get now is gear reducer. So we're going to put that on. And that is increased speed, I think. Let's check it. Yeah, so it does increase the speed. And we've got extra capacity as well. I'll put them on both. There we go. I have a feeling, however, that because of that, we need another mechanics workshop. I think another mechanics workshop would be desirable. It sadly can't be placed where I really wanted it to be placed. I can place it around the back here, though. Like that. And that'll hopefully be good. Make sure, obviously, everything is maintained correctly. You have different priority levels as well, but we haven't, we haven't messed with that. So that's 60 skiers. Uh, where's someone waiting for assistance? Where? There. Ah, they're probably left. <laughs> that must be a little glitch there. You can see it says problem queue. We've just got so many people stacked up on this thing. It's no, no big problem, though. And there we go. There's some more people on the mechanics workshop. I do find it quite a comforting game. Quite a chill game. That person doesn't. They're, they're considering their life choices. Satisfaction is going down because they're currently munching snow. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that one... It has some attendance. Oh, that person fell at the first hurdle. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's quite nice, that one. Eventually looks like you're going to get some decorations, but we don't have that at this stage. We're currently on for this. Attendance is zero. Attendance is 100% for that. So do I want to build another small shelter? Uh, the answer is no. I want to build a big shelter, if there's such a thing. Yes, large shelter. So, I think what I'll do then is I'll research... Well, we'll finish off this research that I want to do for... This is solar panels, then anti-joint springs. Which will then give us access to that, the 16-person gondola, to then open up bigger, a bigger uh, slope. That'll be good. A new bigger slope. Yeah. I... We are trying to, in terms of our goal, we need to get 500 skiers, so that's more slopes is needed, but also get reputation of three. Mm. I guess it's going through. Security needs to be increased by the look of it. You can see some of them are not feeling that secure. And energy and, I guess it's energy, yeah. Right. Energy and heat. Okay. What's that? Delicious but hot. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, can we go for... Yes, we can go for this gondola soon. And I think I'm going to get some more safety skiery lodges. So there's that 16-person gondola. And I'm going to go straight away for service training. And then I want a large shelter. And first aid training as well. Like I say, I'm not really in a rush to build more stuff. I'd rather get the... I'd rather get the research done. Um, over to safety then. And 
right, we have a couple of safety concerns, specifically that corner. And that person who's now... <laughs> um, somehow fossilised inside of the mountain. Right, so I think what we'll do, it's this bit here is where we have a bit of a safety issue. If I put a safety lodge there, it's in between these other two, that will hopefully help. Although, to be fair, you do get a bonus. If I put a ski patrol lodge on the corner, I think it helps. But what I'm going to do is try one in this, try one back here, see what that does. But yeah, so you can see it, it's increased the safety around there. So maybe placing that there would help. Hmm, I don't know whether I have to place it on these corners. But I'm just going to try this. Movement in progress. As long as people are being rescued and it... Ah, yeah, there you go. See that? This is... It's slowly changing this. This is where people are having accidents. So the longer the, they're there, the, obviously the worse it is for them. So having these in here does seem to have reduced the ones around this corner on the right. This one on the left seems to be a bit of an issue as well, but... Having that there, you can see movement in progress. People are still being rescued. This is... This is what we need. Uh, I'll probably build a couple more in though, just for security. Uh, although, is there anything I can do? I've got first aid training. And... Got work schedule there. Hmm. And, oh, we can also unlock the next part of the tree as well. <laughs> Leather seats for chairlift and gondola lifts. Increase energy. Hmm. Sunroom. And local groceries. There's loads of uh, options here, isn't there? Light vehicles. I think leather seats. And there's a one-person detachable grip surface tour. I have no idea what that is. But we'll go for light vehicles and the other research. There we go. Right. So, have we got... Actually, it was the large... It was that, wasn't it, to be fair? The thing I wanted first was the large shelter, because I think that's where a lot of our satisfaction was falling down at. But, we should now have a 16-person gondola. Yes, we do. Problem is, where can I put it? I can put it around here, but... If I was to do that, where would where would it go to? Well, probably up this mountain here, but where would the where would the down bit come? Um, would have to go into there, wouldn't it? I'll, I'll place it here, and too steep up there, is it? Too steep for building. See where we could place this potentially. Scale lift is blocked. Could only really go a little bit up this mountain. Okay. I don't think that's really. I don't think that's really very good for it. Let's, out of interest, go over here. This is a new area. Let's check out the gondola. If. For example, it was there. Could it go up to there? Too steep. But it could go right up to there. Okay. But obviously that would be a, a brand new... A brand new... Um, lodge and such. And this goes up there. Too steep. Yeah, so it's got, in terms of steepness, it's not ideal, but up to there is really good. And then you can have a really long one coming all the way back. Problem with that is we need to build all of the other things around here. Not a big drama, we will try that out. So let's go ahead and go for a builder's lodge, similar setup, we'll put a builder's lodge there. We will max the workers out. I'll go for a mechanics workshop, which will be just behind it there. And that will get built by that. Um, and then finally, we need a snow groomer. 
uh, hanger, which we don't need to put... In. I think we put it here, actually, yeah. Snow groomer hanger. I mean, technically, you can put it on... Oh, you can't put it on the back there. We'll put it there, and that should be all of the things we need for this area. Naturally, we will have to make another slope there, but that's not a huge drama. It looks like safety has gone up, which I'm happy about. Satisfaction is overall at 72%. The ones that are... Uh, it's energy, it seems to be. the One of the lowest ones, actually. So energy is... Things like the tea room. I believe the tea room is... Or soup bar. Food and heat. Ah, no. It is the shelter. It's the shelter. So I was, I think, correct in focusing on getting this large shelter in place. As soon as we get the large shelter, we'll hopefully help out. That small shelter's not being used, which is a bit of a shame. How we're doing over... Hang on, over third <laughs> area here, so I want people on that, people on that, and then this one will get built soon. There's that built. Oh, look at that. That's really nice. Let's go ahead and put a slope in. So we'll probably go for a large slope. Um, and we'll have this as between blue and green, I think. Bit of a strange up and over there. <laughs> Gonna go that way. Yeah, but it's really difficult, that one. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Curve it round. Round the mountain there. That'll be a very good view. This is where it starts to get a bit difficult, though. And... Hmm. That's just going to cause all manner of security issues. They're not going to feel safe on that at all. I don't blame them. Curving round. Can I go underneath? Oh, we can! <laughs> that was a that was a, a bigger um, note of elation that really <laughs> didn't deserve it. That's that slope there. That's good. Happy with that. Wow, look at the volunteers you can assign to that. A lot of volunteers. Okay. So, I'm going to let that build, but I'm not going to assign anyone to... I keep going over there. It's this one. I'm not going to assign anyone to this thing first until we've got some more volunteers, because I really want to f make sure that this is really focused on. Both gear reducers are on both of these. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. To get more people up there. And we do have, once again, some issues with the queues. But hopefully the research will help us out. And opening up this other one may also help. But that one there, that attendance is, is massive on that. But I'm going to destroy it and build a large shelter. Sadly, the appeal is not as good. But quite frankly, we need it. We need a large shelter. And we can assign four people to it, and I'll do just that. And immediately, look at the attendance. It's already it's already maxed. <laughs> it's already maxed out. Um, I think I need... I think I need more of those. Although, maybe it'll just take some time to filter through. Maybe. Maybe. Do I want to build... Maybe a small shelter at the top here? Can I, can I fix... Can I fit in a small shelter, is the question. I think I could, yeah. That would help out, I think. It's getting this third star, I find quite difficult. What's it say? Increase your resort's reputation, unlock the new skier profiles, and increase their satisfaction. There's no secret to this. Simply study their needs profile by profile and build installations they like. Okay. Well, there's two people... Assigned to the small shelter up the top there. So hopefully that'll start fulfilling that need. 75% satisfaction. It's only the snow plows that are on the lower. Security's going up. No, it's frequency of use. I guess they just like to use the same thing over and over again. But everything seems to be trending upwards. He says, as it just drops by a percent. Hmm. 
You research first aid training. And all of these researches are going to uh, help out. That's a secondary stove. It says, it's not as good as a gas stove, but it's better than nothing. The service time is reduced, but we get minus food, which I don't like. Um, GPS assistance. All maintenance buildings, extra movement speed. Oh yeah, let's go for that. Should have researched that sooner. Chairlift extra speed. Synchronized boarding, hybrid engine. Wow, look at the, all the stuff we can go for there for gondolas. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. An emergency brake there. Chairlift, ski tours, and gondola lifts. Extra speed, but also more wear and tear. I think tea room, and then go for the fast food and the other stuff as well. We'll have a look at that one. And I think it is time to open that. And then immediately people come straight in and there's the lift. The lift's working and oh my good grief. <laughs> right. We may have a problem. I've just done that and a slight issue. I've not <laughs> got any security or like patrol lodges or anything like that around here. So let me just put these in. There's one of those in. That's a ski patrol lodge and I'll sign one person to it. I also want a high altitude food kiosk. I don't know where to build it though. Um, I think here. Like that. And I'm also very tempted to place a large shelter up here. But we'll place it on like around this area or something like that. And assign a person to that. Alright, it's going to require obviously some micromanagement stuff. We're now up to... Wow. We're up to over 600 skiers there. And reputation is increasing. Good. Okay, so I think we've done quite well. Obviously, I do need to build things like a... Just, just things around here. We need to build more stuff around this area. So things like soup bars, large shelters. But that'll all be next episode uh, when we do that. So either way, happy with what we've accomplished here. So we will crack on and look at expanding this new area. But also naturally uh, looking at this and micromanaging it as well. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series for it is thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.